Welcome to the Overgrowth Art Asset Overview. This week I'm going to talk a little bit about the new rabbit characters and show a few of the art assets that I worked on. The new group of rabbits that I mentioned is called the Snowblood Paladins. Here's an example of one of their warriors. I based the weapon for this character off of an Aztec club called the Maquat and um, I think it's a pretty interesting weapon where the edges carry um, sharpened stone or in this case I think it'll probably be sharpened metal pieces but uh, historical accounts said, say that this weapon could uh, decapitate a horse. While unusually strong fighters for rabbits even they still prefer to retreat to their temple stronghold rather than fight opponents. Because they provide the king's guards, the high priest of the Snowblood Paladins is very influential. These rabbits consider themselves blessed by the gods because they have the unusual ability to heal rapidly from injuries. In the course of the game, you'll run into a lot of unique characters. Here are some examples of characters you might meet. Even with their remarkable healing abilities, there are some injuries that these rabbits cannot recover from. The bindings on the ears prevent this kind of catastrophic damage. I worked on a few of the articles of clothing needed to bring these characters into the game, but as you can see, the character is not totally finished yet. Here's the work in progress. The other thing I worked on these last couple of weeks were five new pieces for the Hexcrete set. I built a slope, a half slope, and some debris. I kind of like how these pieces here kind of resemble a skate park. I'd like to add a few more pieces of debris, but I think this is a pretty good start. One other thing I did was improve the textures for this entire set. I added a lot more grime and weathering to all of the color textures. That's it for this week's Art Asset Overview. Don't forget you can pre-order the game at wolfire.com slash pre-order. Thanks.